What's up guys, it's Roger and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a How to Blink in Trials on Exodus Blue. Now, I gotta say, this is probably one of the worst weekends of Trials I have ever experienced. There is just so much crutching and cheesy stuff going on. You have Chaperones, Lord of Wolves, Invis Hunters, Stasis with the Renewal Grasps, the Lorely Splendors, the Lame Monarchs, and of course, since it's Capture Zone, there is just a shit ton of Wither Horde spam, and I'll tell you, it is truly a terrible weekend. If I could recommend to you guys playing or not, I'd probably say don't. But in case you still want to, stick around. I'm going to show you my build real quick, and then we'll get into some gameplay clips, and I'll show you how I've been using this build in Trials. Let's get on more of a positive note and start breaking this build down. So let's start out with the weapons. This weekend, I am just rocking a nice little Reese Walker here. I haven't used this thing too much. I have Quick Draw and Swashbuckler on it. Of course, I would love an Iron Reach. But 75 range still ain't bad. I feel like Exodus Blue is quite a close range map a lot of the time, so being able to get in there with a shotgun or fusion rifle, whatever you may want for your close range weapon, is definitely good. You can put a sniper on for your special if you'd like to, because there are a few sniper lanes you could have success on, but I would definitely recommend a close range weapon for your primary, or for your special ammo, that is. After that, I just have a Cantata on. I was using the Igneous Hammer a little bit because I wanted that longer range, but I went back to the Cantata. I've really been liking this hand cannon lately, and it's just 140s, 180s, really any kind of hand cannon does really well on this map because there's a lot of close range fighting. You can use pulse rifles as well, but I would recommend a hand cannon. I have a recurrent impact on for our heavy weapon, but I never really use heavy, so don't worry about that. Of course, got the Astrotide on, you know, I just got some hand cannon targetings, you know, the old uh, loader and unflinching type stuff so nothing crazy there you can pause take a look at that stuff if you want to see it and let's start breaking down our fragments aspects all that good stuff so of course i have a nova bomb on it is capture point weekend for the trials lab stuff which means there are bubble titans everywhere but i will say i haven't seen a single super popped in a single match i've been in the entire day I haven't gotten a single super, the enemies have not gotten a single super, so while a few weeks ago on Midtown Trials, Bubble Titans were just the worst, there are still a bunch of them running around, but they're not even getting their bubbles, so don't even worry about supers if I'm being honest. I have a Healing Rift on, Blink of course, our Pocket Singularity, and I am using Scatter Nades, and I'll show you the little combo I'm trying to do with that, and a few clips I'm showing them off, and they're pretty damn good. Definitely recommend giving Scatter Nades a try. After that, I have Feed the Void on for the Devour, and Shadow of the Old God, so we can get our Clarence. I do love that, and it's just the greatest combo for me. I also love having four fragments, which you need both of these if you want to have four fragments. What are those fragments? Well, I have Echo of Persistence, just so our Devourer is going to extend itself to 15 seconds of duration instead of 10. But you got to remember that also applies to Invisibility and Overshield, so if you do get Overshield or Invisibility from your teammates, that is going to last 15 seconds instead of 10 seconds, which is very powerful. Echo of Dilation, I've talked about this on end, very, very good. Fragment, you really want that increased, really detailed radar, it really helps, especially on a close range map like this. You need to see when people are rushing you and exactly where they are and in what numbers they are rushing you. And if you want to attack them aggressively, it's really good information to have. Definitely recommend trying that out and you can't go wrong with the raw stats. After that, we have Echo of Undermining. That's going to let our Void Grenades weaken targets. You do lose 20 Discipline, so be careful of that. If you want to run a higher Discipline, put some extra mods on or whatever you need to do. Now, I've been using with the Scatter Nades, and a lot of times the first tick of the Scatter Nade will start to weaken the enemy, and then the subsequent ticks from the Scatter Nade will do more damage because they're weakened. It's a great combo, but sometimes I do notice that it's not weakening them on the first tick. I don't really know exactly what the deal is, but... I think it's a cool combo, and it's really fun either way, after the Scatter Nade ends, they're still going to be weakened, which is always great to have. And then, last of all, just Echo of Expulsion, if you do manage to blow them up with a nade, or Clarence gets a kill, whatever it may be, your Pocket Singularity hits them and kills them, they're going to blow up, and a lot of times people are stacking up on top of each other on this map, so it's really good to have that on, so you can maybe get those double or triple downs with the Echo of Expulsion, just getting that little bit of extra explosion damage. So that is our entire build. After covering all that, let's go ahead and hop into the gameplay. So a big part of this map for me was just being very aggressive a lot of times. The thing was I'm solo queuing and there is no solo. So against these three stacks, a lot of times what I would try to do is like this, go in, see the targets, flick really quick, take one or two out and just get those picks so my teammates can play off of them. Other times I would slide in and go a little slower. Like if I had the Igneous Hammer on, I'd take range fights like this and just hit my shots, send Clarence out and set up some area denial on top of that res while the teammates go and take the other ones out because they're all distracted on 
you know, their teammate dying, me getting picks and whatnot. So a lot of it is distraction when you're playing solo, and especially with this build. Area denial is going to be the next biggest part of it. That's why you want your clearance. In this clip, you're actually going to see the scatter nades a little bit. So I see these guys over here, and I throw the scatter nade first. You can see it starts taking a bunch of damage. It actually starts weakening one guy, shoots some more shots, blink over, and take this guy out. And those scatter nades can be really good for area denial and taking care of groups. So a lot of times I was kind of just blinking straight towards the flag off the starts. I just wanted to get towards them, usually put a rift down if I had it. Unfortunately, I didn't have it up at the start of this round. And just take some shots. You can see this guy shooting Wither Horde in here because that's a fun time, right? He gets taken out and I decided to use my blink to flank. And I would say that's one of the biggest things you want to make sure you're doing on this map is using your blink to, use the, to make those flanks because you're not going to flank faster with anything in this game than you are with blink. And you really need to utilize that, get around the enemy and just take them out. You can see here, I'd knock this guy's head off, flick over to this guy and take them out. That was really good. I've been loving the Cantata for this. And then I was able to get up on this guy. Clarence held him down, weakened him a little bit, and I got some easy smacks with my shotgun. Coming into this clip here, I was going forward, and again, with those flanks, I wanted to get up on the side of the enemy while my teammates held them. Unfortunately, one of my teammates was following me, but at the same time, these enemies were not very good, which is fine. I threw out a scatter there on that guy and then blinked over, even though I was kind of slowed, and I was able to smack this guy and get that nice little win, which was few and far between today. So with this inside flag here, the Wither Hordes were really getting annoying, but I was just usually putting a rip down just like that, getting Clarence out and challenging down lanes like this. They come and peek, I throw out my scatter nade, just do some extra damage. Clarence actually gets the last tick, and I saw it based on my radar and what I already knew, I could push forward on this guy, and I was able to get the last kill there with my shotgun. You gotta know when to get aggressive and really watch your radar and figure that out. Now, I got very aggressive here and got a nice double piece with my shotgun. I wouldn't recommend doing this as a start. I was able to blink away from this guy here and blink into midair and take him out with a nice headshot. But be very careful with that. This was like a lot of four rounds into the match. So if you want to do that round one, you could probably get away with it and maybe get a kill or two or even wipe their whole team. But if it's later on in the match and they already know you're a blink user, especially if you know they're good players, be very careful of that. Again, I threw the scatter nade in there, did some good damage, and I absolutely mapped that guy. Started looking around for other enemies, and I knew I could take this guy out, so I did that right before I die. And then if you're wondering, yes, my teammate did throw the match. If the flag was outside, I love blinking over that little part right there, slapping a rift down, and that enabled me to hold either left or right. And whatever side I was shooting at first, like right there, I could slap Clarence out there, and Clarence gets the last hit on this guy, and uh, yeah, we're not going to talk about that blink, just uh, be careful there. Now going into this next clip here, I loved holding around this red box, because that let me peek straight into the tube right there, and you can see I was taking some peeks there, threw a nice scatter nade, but unfortunately nobody stepped up, so I knew it was going to come down to just gun skill at this point, which is fine with me. I sent Clarence out and started taking shots on these guys. Teammate helped me clean up this guy, and then I was looking around for where I could push. I blinked onto this enemy, but he was taken up by the teammate, and I blinked up behind this guy and waited a second and used perfect range and took this guy out to win us that first round, which you always want to get the first round in trials. It's a real big confidence booster. Now be careful of that little crack right there as you're seeing over that little box. People will snipe you through there and use their Lawrence drivers, whatever it may be, so be very careful of that angle. I threw a scatter nade here just to ward off the enemy and in case they push forward, it would have smacked them. I was getting a nice blink forward, took this guy out, and looking for any enemies I could see, I smacked this guy with a shotgun and then just did as much damage to this guy as I could and hope the teammates would clean up and that is exactly what they did. So again, when challenging this outside area, here I love just slapping a rift down unfortunately of course here comes the wither or right on my feet I'm telling you they are everywhere and it's so cringy now we got to smack this guy Clarence went up and started sucking on that guy's dozies while he was floating in midair which caused him to crash down which is hilarious to me our teammate got smacked he got a little too aggressive even though we could have just capped zone or held reses and so I got some nice shots and decided I wanted to get aggressive with my shotgun because we were up in rounds absolutely mapped this guy and won us the match so I was pretty satisfied with that now after that uh, we're going into this clip here and you can see there's been enemies all around me on my radar. I was watching with the dilation, and I saw this guy. I blinked out of there, threw my scatter nade, and luckily the teammate, that was enough damage for him to easily pick that up with a nice melee. He's using Lorely Splendor and Lorenz Driver, so I have no respect for this teammate. And you're gonna see here, he absolutely smacks with it. I saw this hit me earlier. If your teammate gets killed by the Lorely Splendor Lorenz Driver, it sucks you in, and then you just die to the burn damage from the fire that gets spawned, so uh, that's fun. Now I screwed up here, I got way too aggressive, but you can see with some really nice blinks and slides, I was able to move it myself out of there, get my own rift down, spawn Clarence, take some nice shots at this guy, hit him on the head for 102 there at the end, which is pretty crazy. Got up behind this guy, I couldn't blink because I was suppressed, but I got a nice double melee with a shotgun blast, took him out, and this guy I really didn't want to lose to, but I outplayed him really well with a blink to the side, and came at him from an unexpected angle, and was able to take him out and secure that round for us. 
Moving on here, we have our last couple of clips to break down here. I was not winning this trade. I had the 180 hand cannon, and when I did, I like to peek stuff like this because it was a little farther. You can see my teammates crouching on the wither hard there. But I was looking at my radar, so I could peek down here, so I came over, got a nice three tap on that guy, and kept looking around. I started crouching, and you can watch my radar, and I was just waiting and waiting. Then I finally saw somebody with the dilation. I knew that they wanted to peek this door, and that is exactly what they ended up doing. And I had some nice shots. They ran away. Quick draw to my shotgun and took him out. We captured the zone, but I still absolutely mapped this guy as he came around the corner. And you gotta just use that dilation, guys. I'm telling you, it's so good. Really learn it and use it. Now again, I got a little aggressive here. Saw that sniper on me, so I used my blink. Got myself out of trouble and back down to the ground. Looking over here, I saw the enemies using my dilation and just the radar in general. I knew I wanted a peek. Hit some nice headshots there. This guy threw a little spike grenade, whatever the hell it's called, at the wall. My melee there actually bumped this guy up and made him grapple onto that ledge, which was really good for letting me take him out. Now again, watching my radar, I saw this guy was flanking, and I thought since he was a titan, he might have uh, some balls on his body and want to fight me with a shotgun, because I know he had one, but he said no. So I said, okay, well, I know my shot's better than yours, so I smacked him real quick with that. Well, if you made it this far, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see more of the future. This clip that I'm playing for you guys right now is just a perfect example of how shitty Trials is this weekend, and I wanted to show it to you guys. We have the Renewal Grasp with the big old Stasis Crystal, so they're invincible to any damage we do to them, and then we're just getting frozen, and they have Wither Hordes all over the ground, and it's just cringy as shit. Please don't be like these guys. It's so sad. And just enjoy the game a little bit, because while it's always fun to win, it's fun to actually have some gunfights and prove that you have any kind of skill in your body, so please don't be like these guys, and have a great day, Guardians.